Hello, Just Jacks here and welcome to my channel. Now, as long as I've timed this right, we should be in October, which means Halloween, which means spooky, ghostly, creepy, scary. So I'm going to start off, though I don't know when this video will be released within October, with something that I've done before, it's nice and easy and it's really effective and super cool looking. So we have old plant pots, little dinky ones, but you can do it any size you like. I made a massive one of these and I mean a massive using a bin and a football and broomsticks. And so you can do this any size you like. We're going to keep this manageable. I'm not going to get carried away. This is going to be a little ghosty. Mod rock, garden sticks, but you can use kebab skewers and just tape a couple together so that they've got a bit of support behind them. Hot glue, but you can use double sided tape. It's all just to hold the skeleton together. The base one is also optional. When I've made these in the past, I haven't bothered with a base one. I just thought it would be a nice finish. So, and a bit of foil. Um, but also in the past, I just used um, those kiddies ball pit balls, glued one of them on top because you want a bit of a dome for the head of the ghost. So we're just going to glue these together first. I've got a bit of foil that I'm going to wedge in between that because I want to make him a little bit taller. He's going to be a little bit too short and squat at that size. So our glue gun should have heated up. It has... Lovely. I'm just going to make a little strut me up strut in the middle here. Yep. We're also going to just glue that in place. You haven't got to be very finesse at this point. And these are going to go, so again, you can be a bit more safe when doing this. So I tend to just squiddle around because you've only got to make a little bit gap big enough to pop an army in. Now, I think we're going to break these down because we're not going to need them that long. And you can position them however you like. Yep, I think about there. And then we're just going to make... A ball for the head. A bit bigger than that. Yeah. That is the hot glue gun done with. So we can pop that away. We're just going to let that dry for a moment before we do the next bit because if we start doing it now it'll fall apart but that's our basic little ghost structure our little ghost skeleton so when we come back all I'm going to do in the meantime is cut our mod rock into strips perhaps about well, do them whatever size you like I'll do them between two and four inch uh, thickness and fill this with water. I have the gloves. I tend to end up doing this barehanded, but it will dry your hands out. So if you have got sensitive skin or you're prone to dry hands anyway, do don some rubber gloves, latex gloves, whatever gloves you've got to hand. Because um, you're going to be doing a lot of dipping and a lot of wringing and a lot of positioning. So that's what I'm going to do. 
Right, it's all dry, not going anywhere. I've also got myself a cling film, me and my love a cling film. But it's really good because it won't stick to it. This is going to be what he's going to dry on because you're going to need to leave him somewhere to dry and you're not going to want plaster dripping everywhere. And um, that's also why I've got this down. It's just easy clear up. And this is just a cheap roll uh, from the charity shop of wallpaper. It's brilliant as a working surface. Now, I did cut these a little bit longer in the end. So, like I say, do them what length you like. I've got some short ones. I've got some longer ones. All we're going to do is soak them in there and start draping them over. Now, we're going to have them quite smooth at the top, but we're going to want a more organic rippled effect at the bottom. So, let's just start doing this. This is where we're going to get super messy and super plastery. some of the shorter ones to the forefront here. You're going to want it to trail a little bit at the back. My ghost is moving forwards, he's coming at you. And that is him. So we are going to leave him to dry completely and utterly before we do the finishing touches. He's white already, so you don't need to paint him white. White will be an option if you want to. And, and the whole reason for smoothing him over at the end isn't to get rid of the wrinkles, but it's to try and merge some of that plaster in with the fabrics. This is essentially... Um, What's the word? It's what people make casts out of. <laughs> it's it's mod rock, but it's uh, like, oh, I really, you know when you just go brain dead every now and again? I just lost a brain cell and it contained that bit of information. It's that stuff. So to get rid of the fabric pattern, texture, we're just running my fingers through it to try and keep the creases because we don't want the creases to go. That's going to be movement. So I'm going to clear up here. Now, what you're also going to know, want to know is do not put this bowl of plaster soaked water down the sink. It will clog your sink up. You will have to get a plumber out and it'll cost you a lot of money. All you have to do with this is just leave it to dry. The plaster will eventually settle and dry at the bottom. Even stick it outside somewhere, covered up so no animal tries to drink it. Um, and within a few days, that plaster would have just totally set at the bottom, believe it or not. Then the water can be disposed of safely down the sink because all the plaster would have separated. 
I still won't do that personally. I'll just put a load of absorbent material in there, be it tissue, old cloth, whatever, and then wing it in the bin. And you'll be able to chip the bottom out and also wing that in the bin. Then wipe it out and wing those bits in the bin. So, yeah, I'm going to clear up, let this go dry. When we come back, we'll add finishing touches. Okay, mod rock plant pot. Ghosty is dry. Check him out. Wait, you can't check him out. It's far too bright. Let me try turning that down and touch. See. Nope, that's the disco. Well, disco ghost. Let's see if I can remember the right one. There we go. I don't normally put the disco light on. I think it's still because he's so white. Okay, there we go. Look at that! How cool! Let me move this out the way for a second. How cool is that? He's reaching over a hug. So effective, right? Plant pots, foil, garden sticks. I can't remember what they're called. So, what we're going to do now is the fun bit. We're going to give him a face. I don't know whether I'm going to give him a mouth or not. I'm definitely going to give him eyes, and this is the fun way to do the eyes. Let me just make sure I've got some kitchen roll to hand. It's just this simple. Check him out. I don't think I'm going to give him anything else. Let's just... I kind of want to... I want to splodge that eye out a little bit more, but I also kind of like the fact he's a little bit drooped. Let's just splodge it out with just a little bit more. That's better. How cool is he? That is how you make a nice, easy, fun, if somewhat messy, ghosty out of mod rock. These guys are so much fun to make. Like I say, in the past, I made a huge one out of an upturned bin, a football, and a broomstick. Let me just make sure that my hands are completely dry before I manhandle him again. I'm going to splodge black where it don't go. So yeah, you can make them any size you want. You can get like little tiny dinky plant pots that are like say about so big. You can make a little tiny mini ghost. Anything round. I mean, like I said, in this instance I used foil. When I've done little guys with plant pots in the past, I've used plant pots and... Um, those kiddie ball pit balls, those little plastic things that come in all kinds of bright colours. How cool is that? He is beautiful. So now I have my very own. So when I made them in the past, they were all for, you know, people I was working with. Or for decoration for the company. Now I have my very own. And you can too. Plaster of Paris. That's what I couldn't think of at the very beginning of this video. Mod Rock is essentially Plaster of Paris. How cool. Oh. I'm going to give him a nice home in the front room. You can have him for decoration anywhere in your house. You can give him a little base if you want to, just so you don't leave plaster dust about the place. You can also varnish him and he'll be just fine outside, but make sure you varnish him thoroughly and on the underside, because if any water gets in there, it will eventually just break it down. Look at that. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and checking me and my channel out at the spooky season of October. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it's given you some ideas. Let me know if you give it a go or if you've tried anything like this with other materials. 
thank you again all so, so much. I really do appreciate you checking me out. And I hope you can feel my enthusiasm when something like this pays off. Even though I knew this one would pay off. I did another ghost the other day, which I didn't know whether it would pay off or not. And it did. So, like if you like what you see. Comment if you've got something to say. And subscribe if you really like what you see and you want to see more and know when it's coming. Thank you all again so, so much. Take care and see you in the next one.